Hello everyone. Today we shall discuss visualizing solid shapes. That is chapter 10. Here is the introduction. In class 7, you have learnt about plane shapes and solid shapes. Plane shapes have two measurements like length and breadth, and therefore they are called two dimensional shapes. Whereas a solid object has three measurements like length, breadth, height, or depth. Hence, they are called three dimensional shapes. Also, a solid object occupies some space. Two dimensional and three dimensional figures can also be briefly named as 2D and 3D figures. You may recall that triangle, rectangle, circle, etc. are 2D figures, while cubes, cylinders, cones, spheres, etc. are three dimensional figures. Let us match the following. Here you see this is two dimensional, this is a square, this is three dimensional, and this is a cone. Here you see this is a cone. The next one is this one. This one is a three dimensional and this is known as cylinder. Here you see cylinder is given. This is cylinder, right? And this one, this one is triangle. It is a two dimensional figure and it is a triangle, right? It is a shape of the is triangle, right? After that, given the this is three dimensional, this is cube. This is three dimensional, this is cube. This is circle, this is two dimensional, and this is circle. Here you see, this is the circle. And the last one is, this one is cuboid. Here you see, length, breadth, and height are given. It is also three dimensional, it is a cuboid. And it is a sphere, right? It is three dimensional, and it is a, a sphere. The first one is, here you see, this is given as a sphere. Therefore, we can find that the two dimensional and three dimensional figures. Now, Note that all the above shapes are single. However, in our practical life, many a times we come across combinations of different shapes. For example, look at the following objects. A tent, a cone surmounted on a cylinder. A tin, a cylindrical cell. Soft tea, ice cream. A cone surrounded by a hemisphere. A photo frame, a rectangular path. A bowl, a hemispherical cell. Dome and a pillar, cylinder surmounted by a hemisphere, like this. Match the following pictures objects with their shapes. Here you see, now one is, picture is an agricultural land. Two rectangular cross paths inside a rectangular park. A groove, a circular path around a circular ground. A toy, a triangular field, adjoining a square field. A circular park, a cone taken of a cylinder. You have to match this one. A cross path, a hemisphere surmounted on a cone. Right? Now, second one, here you see an agricultural field. Two rectangular cross paths inside a rectangular park. You see this one. Right? This one. Or a cross path. Right? Now you can find the various matching. You can match the following with their shapes. First one is an agricultural field. An agricultural field like this, right? Agricultural field is like this. Okay, okay. A groove, a toy, a circular park, a cross path, right? Here a cone taken out of a cylinder. Here you see the groove, a cone taken out of a cylinder, right? This one, a toy. A hemisphere surmounted on a cone, a hemisphere surmounted on a cone, right? Cross path, this is cross path, or this is a circular path, a circular path around a circular ground, a circular path around a circular ground, right? A cross path, a cross path is two rectangular cross paths inside a rectangular park, inside a rectangular park, right? And this one is a agricultural field. Agricultural field is like this. Okay, this is the cross path. These are the different figures. Now we'll discuss about views of 3D shapes. You learned that a three-dimensional object can look differently from different positions so that they can be drawn from different perspective. For example, a given heart can have the following views. That is a hut, this is a front view, this is a side view, and this is a top view. Similarly, a glass can have the 
following views glass this is the side view and this is the top view why is the top view of the glass a pair of concentric circles we will the side view appear different if taken from other direction think about this now look at the different views of a brick you see this is a brick this is the front view this is the side view and this is the top view you can also get different views of figures made by adjoining cubes for example this one solid made of three cubes this is the side view right this is the front view and this is the top view right here you see solid of made of four cubes this is the top view this is the front view and this is the side view right this is solid made of four cubes here you see this is the side view this is the front view and this is the top view right now you can find various views of solid objects right in the next exercises we'll do the various questions of exercise 10.1 dear friends if you like this video please subscribe like and share thank you everybody for watching this video